This video is especially dedicated to uh, one of my brother Jahid PZA. He had asked me this question. I think he is getting some problems, so let me clear his doubt. How to solve this question, right? We have to prove here uh, tan theta divided by one minus cot theta plus cot theta divided by one minus tan theta equals one plus sec theta cosec theta. All right. To prove this, we can solve this first left hand side, and then we can easily get this right hand side. Or depending on some situation, we may have to start from the right hand side and we'll get the left hand side or sometime we may solve left hand side as well as right hand side and we'll get the equal value from both side and then we'll say prove it but in this case we're going to first solve the le uh, this this left hand side and uh, we'll get the right hand side so uh, let me first write le left hand side our left hand side is okay now in this type of the questions right what we can do this look at here we don't have any trick you know this is cot theta this is tan theta there is uh, I mean uh, we can do anything so in such cases every time every time try to convert uh, other trigonometric ratios uh, into the sine and cosine form all right try to convert them into the sine and cos here we have tan theta and cot theta we'll try to convert this into the uh, into the uh, into the sine and cosine form all right and anywhere you know many times if you have like sec or if you have cosec or or if you have uh, other uh, like tan or cot anything you know then try to convert them into the sine and cosine that always makes us easier so everybody know that uh, tan theta is the ratio of sine theta over cos theta and cot theta is just a reciprocal of the tan theta that is cos theta over the sine theta so I'm gonna use these two things right tan theta as a sine theta over cos theta so this tan theta I can write like sine theta over the cos theta and whole divided by 1 minus uh, now cot theta cot theta is actually this uh, cos theta over sin theta so I'm gonna write here cos theta divided by sin theta similarly here this cot theta I can write cos theta divided by sin theta because cot theta is cos theta over sin theta and again divided by 1 minus tan theta tan theta is here sin theta over cos theta so let's use sin theta over the cos theta all right and now uh, what we can do uh, we can bring this cos theta down all right and we can do simple uh, calculation all right so it will be now here sine theta over the cos theta times now if, if, you, if you just look at this downstairs you know uh, we'll get something like this like if there is nothing then there is one all right and when we'll take the LCM of one and sine theta then we'll get sine theta all right and then this one will divide the sine theta so uh, it will be sine theta all right and minus when sin, when the sine theta will divide the sine theta will get one and that one will multiply this cos theta right this cos theta okay and now plus same thing uh, we're going to do here right this is cos theta divided by sine theta all right and then times one divided by this is one again let me put it one if there's nothing then there will be one and this is again sine theta minus cos theta so uh, in this place I'm directly going to do all right uh, okay this is cos theta and this will be cos theta minus sine theta all right so let's rearrange it properly this will be now sine theta all right and this sine theta will go up similarly here this cos theta will go up so it will be sine theta times sine theta divided by cos theta uh, times sine theta minus cos theta and then plus this is cos theta all right and this cos theta will go up so again cos theta and the divided by this sine theta all right and this cos theta minus sine theta all right this is cos theta minus sine theta okay uh, I hope till here you understand all right and now see what we can do uh, see here we have sine theta minus cos theta and here we have cos theta minus sine theta so uh, to solve this whole entire expression you have to take the LCM right so to to take the LCM it will be easier if if I'm uh, trying to make this cos theta minus sine theta as a sine theta minus cos theta all right I mean to say I have here cos theta minus sine theta right write this one I have here cos theta minus sine theta so I can write this like also like minus sine theta plus cos theta and if I'll take here minus common then it will be sine theta minus cos theta so uh, this is what I'm going to use in the next step in the place of cos theta minus sine theta I will be writing minus sine theta uh, minus sine theta minus cos theta so by doing so you know if I'll write this if I'll 
if, if I'll write this thing, all right, this cos theta, cos theta, it will be cos square theta, all right, and this will be sine theta, but in the place of this cos theta minus sine theta, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use minus sine theta cos theta, right, so minus I'm writing here, and then it will be sine theta minus cos theta, all right, and now let's look at, this is sine theta, sine theta, this will, this will be sine square theta, divided by now, this is cos theta, and again this is sine theta minus cos theta and now if you ask me about this plus then when this plus is multiplied uh, this minus here it was this minus and this minus we write here right so this plus and the minus from this part makes minus this all right um, try to understand here that actually it's 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 just you know I, I just write this uh, I just write this minus uh, sine theta minus cos theta all right so so this minus and this plus multiplies and gives you minus and now let's solve it so now we can take the LCM if we take the LCM now here we'll get uh, cos theta and this will be sine theta and here also we have sine theta minus cos theta here also we have sine theta minus cos theta so it will be now uh, sine theta minus cos theta all right so when this whole thing will divide this whole thing will be left with just one thing that is sine theta because cos theta is here also and sine theta minus cos theta is here also so this will be now sine q theta and similarly here this whole thing uh, when divide these things will be left with only one thing that is cos theta because sine theta will cancel sine theta and the sine theta minus cos theta will cancel sine theta minus cos theta so we are left with now cos q theta and now friend if you look properly here this is sine cube theta minus cos cube theta. Doesn't it look like a cube minus b cube? The formula for the a cube minus b cube is a minus b, all right, uh, a square plus b square plus ab, all right. This is the formula. And actually, there are a lot of uh, form of many form of the a cube minus b cube formula, but I'm selecting here a minus b. But doing so, what I will get sine theta minus cos theta that I can cancel with the, this denominator sine theta minus cos theta. That is the reason. So what I'm gonna write here now in the in the in I'm supposing this a is this sine theta and this b is this cos uh, cos cube theta so that time a cube minus b cube this will be a minus b all right times a square that is sine square theta plus b square that is cos square theta plus this a b and that's a b is actually sine theta times cos theta all right this is sine theta times cos theta and then whole divided by this cos theta sin theta and then sin theta minus cos theta all right now something is going to get cancelled here let's cancel these things and these things so we are now left with sin square plus cos square theta this together is going to make one right because this is the identity sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to one and we are left with now this sin theta plus cos theta right this is sine theta plus uh, simple times cos theta divided by cos theta times sine theta. I'm, I'm just gonna split it now. So it will be now 1 over cos theta times sine theta and again sine theta times cos theta divided by sine theta times cos theta. So here we can cancel these terms all right and we'll be left with 1 and 1 over cos theta that's actually sec theta and 1 over sine theta that's our cosec theta all right and then plus 1 and that's our uh, properly if I'm writing then degree 1 plus sec theta times cosec theta that's our right hand side and hence we proved it you know if you see our proving thing is 1 plus sec theta cosec theta all right that's 1 plus sec theta cosec theta hope you understand my brother Jahid PGA and if there is any confusion then please feel free to comment below this video alright see you in the next video goodbye